is that correct um, or is no, it? No, you know what? I'm I'm uh, I'm definitely Christian. I definitely love Jesus Christ um, as my Savior. Um, I've always I've always I mean, there's always been a part of me that has or or even I'm understanding more, but I feel like there's there's okay, there's obviously a mental side. There's yeah. my brain, um, and I've hit that many times and. And uh, uh, and then there's this physical side of me, yeah. you know, and then there's also a soul yeah. of me, and it, and it's all those things. And like now, as I'm getting into my 40s, I'm trying to figure out how to get those things uncomfortable, and um, and then have them working together on on areas that uh, that I can see what's available there, so I can yeah. become ultimately thankful which allows me to be present which is you know fights off all those things that that come with um not do, not doing those things yeah. you know and uh so that's so that's how i um that's how i operate so i need the soul side of me to be fed mm. and um and uh to operate in this world <laughs> did i guess like did you feel were you, do you feel you were, what was it like when you first went on tour, your belief system, and then as when you left the tour, how, how did that evolve? I'm kind of curious. Like, well, when you're a kid, you know, it's just like, yeah, I love Jesus, but like, there's no, tr- there's not like, I mean, you read words and they sort of, you know, they, they affect you, but like now, dude, now it's just like real time. Yeah. Like now I have to navigate things where, I have to look like, all right, God, you created this. And if you created it, you created it for what reasons and what are you trying to do? And okay, that, so that's what I'm sort of searching for. So it's like, it's, it's so much more realer in my Mm forties, um, because I, I, I can just, we can all just, I can just go to dark areas, you know? And I also have to, I have to feed other areas of my life so I can, I feel like I can be a normal human. You know, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It seems that you you mentioned a couple of times about uh, humility and and um, pride and lust. I mean, it feels like perhaps uh, you know a young person, even a, even an adult, can be captured by these things, right? And that was there something grounded um, that faith brought you when you were, especially a young person on tour that 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 kept you sort of focused and not completely to help astray. avoid some pitfalls yeah. That, yeah. that normally would have, would happen on tour. Like the tour can be quite yeah. debaucherous, I guess. Yeah. Well, we, look, when, when you're a kid, you just go, Hey God. And, and there's a relationship there, but you, you just, you just do the bad things and you don't, you don't think there's like this, you're just, you feel guilty inside, you know? And, um, but there's not a real sort of destruction that you see. And then when you get like in our ages and you start to, I mean, you know the steps and you, you don't feel guilty anymore. I mean, maybe you do feel guilty, but you know where it's leading. You're yeah. like, you struggle with it every day. You know, you, you, you make these right choices, but, but when you don't make the right choices, you know where that leads mm-hmm. and you know how destructive that becomes. Um, so it's realer. Right. It, it, so for me, and then, you know, obviously with with going to the the, the father and then the son, who's the greatest example with yeah. Jesus, um, that's just that's that's the lens that I look through, you know. And I think people look through that lens a lot. It's just it's just sometimes it's hard for them to plug in, you know, God the Father and Jesus, you yeah. know. Um, so I, I understand that as well. Yeah. Um, we're getting kind of close here, Justin, <laughs> but I have a couple of questions Justin. I want to ask. One is, do you think, do you believe that pro surfers have a responsibility to speak up for the environment? And why don't more top pros speak up? You know, the WSL did this whole protecting the reefs initiatives at Chopu this year. Yet none of the pros uh, were speaking about like the fires burning in Brazil, which was going on at the same time. Um, or and how that impacts the health of the reefs, um, you know, and like Tom Blake felt that surfers were the chosen ones. That being part of the tribe, we bear a responsibility to protect the ocean. Like, why why do you think that 
surfers, pro surfers are afraid to take a more controversial stance with this? That, that is a great question. Um, and I myself have struggled with that, you know, I mean, uh, a, a pro surfer, you know, I mean, I've got more miles built up on, on, on airplanes and, and, and then it's Delta gold. You know? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> the gold and, club, yeah. Oh, and you ride a styrofoam surfboard yeah. that's made yeah. of resin. Like, the internal conflict yeah. of of me trying to be authentic and stand up for these things, like, dude, it's hard. Like, yeah. let's mm-hmm. just sit, let's just understand that it's hard. Yeah. You know, for the people and the tribe that should have the greatest responsibility, um, we just do things that um, people call bullshit. Yeah, like right away. Um, so I struggle with that. Um, we all can't and, be Dave Ross today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you no, know, and then and then so then there's so then it's, and then you sort of go, okay, yeah, we know it's there, and then you sort of wait for the the lifestyle and 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 the rest of the the. I mean, it's. I was talking about this with this lady on the plane actually um, up up here, and it was just like, okay, we know that in our lives. Things have gotten really, really bad. Like things, yeah. like things within the environment, or things that just like, oh my gosh, we just wiped out a whole species of fish, or yeah. we just did. So that's happened, right? Animals yeah. that have been here, we wiped in, them out in our lifetime. Yeah, we've seen a but lot we've of also things co- seen things come back that, yeah. like, oh my gosh, I thought that was deader than dead, and I don't know mm-hmm. how it. I don't know how things came back. I don't know how things grow. So there's also this other side of well, things will come back, right? And then there's, and then then we sort of fit in with the, we yeah, we're gonna do damage. But how much damage in that sort of area, and how can we lessen that? We'll do the damage over here, and um, and then how does it become a lifestyle where the whole world is sort of like you know on that um, or on that sort of feel good, right? Because yeah. it's got to be an experience and it's got to feel and all these things. And uh, dude, we're all navigating it. What I do think the raddest thing is is the generation below us gets yes. it. Yeah, they get it, and they have skin uh, in the game. Yeah, much and they more got so. And they do have more skin in the game, and, and it, it is. There's a lot of other factors and in, in that that play into that. And I'm not passing the buck. No, I'm just I'm just simply saying I'm blowing it, and I'm a kook. Um, but there are things that I'm hopeful for that things do come back. I feel like the next generation is better than name anybody that you think's a crazy activist in our generation. I'll tell you, an average person in the generation below is going to be better than them. Yeah, you know. Um, so, but we, but, but that doesn't exclude us doing the things that we need to do. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just like, I guess I wish always, I sometimes wish some of the pros would, would take more of a stance or, I mean, I think Slater has done a really good job of mm-hmm. that. Um, I think some have, have spoken out, I guess there have been opportunities or platforms, uh, that I wish, but you know, I will. Yeah. I will say, you know, taking a stance. But I also will say, it's it's part. It's the responsibility now. Like we have to do things in Salty Crew now. That's not part of our story. Yeah. But we just have to do it, or it's not going to be sustainable for our business to even get to. You know, we we just can't do things. Yeah, yeah. there has to be so, pressure points. Yeah. yeah so the everyone has yeah. to act this way, yeah. whether it's it's part of their DNA, right? Like everybody has to do things that you know Patagonia and Slater's company yeah. and all these companies do and talk about like that's part of like not only do we have to do it but it's, at some point it's going to be mandated anyways so yeah. so it's just it's it's just what's happening you know and there's there's such a greater authority over you know when so when, sometimes when you say like a responsibility and these things it's just like okay what are the what is the authority that I'm under and what are the authority that I have over because I could sit there and scream about something but yeah. it's just kind of like I mean it's a lot of noise like Hey, why don't you go home and take care of family? Hey, why don't you go home maybe you know to back off the meat or um, you know use when you go out to do, you know don't you start from this you know and it's just it's all those things that sort of just get little literally ingrained and mm. then that that sort of noise sort of finds its place and sort of dies down and we just start living a lifestyle. CJ Hobgood, thank you for coming on Swell Season. Oh yeah, where, where can all our listeners find you? Where where's CJ? Yeah, that's these always days? you know I was like, yeah, uh, where's the throw? Do you want to throw it out? You don't have to throw well, it out. Oh yeah, dude. Look, if if Instagram is uh, always yeah, good and uh, you know we plugged in two if by C. Yeah, so you can go to n two if by C dot com. 
Um, hopefully, if, if, if you don't, there's not a film festival or a theater showing near you, hopefully by the end of the year we'll be on streaming or yes. video on demand. And um, so yeah. that would be, that would help most. Obviously, you can search my name on Instagram. Um, hopefully, I uh, find sanctity from that i was telling justin <laughs> on the way here i'm like dude after this dang movie i'm freaking taking a high eight this dude. you should yeah IG. it is so uh, sucking yeah. isn't it yeah, it is. you have it, to constantly nuts. be on and yeah. promote it like uh, yeah. i do enjoy podcasts a lot yeah. there's a there's a part of me where i get more than i feel like it's taken so i do um enjoy listening so to when's podcasts. the cj pod, podcast coming then see now that <laughs> would take a lot right so then that would just just nullify <laughs> everything i said <laughs> I'm finding